What's up everybody, Garden State Aviation here, back with another video. <sighs> so, uh, I just checked on Instagram and Gemini have just released their March 21 releases. Today is Tuesday, March 16th, uh, the day before St. Patrick's Day in 2021. So yeah, this is the Gemini just March 2021 releases. Uh, let's just get right into them, starting off with the 1 to 400 models. We have a lot of models that I really, really need. Uh, starting off, we have this uh, Amerijet uh, 767-200. Um, I actually knew this because uh, Marijet do fly to Newark. They fly one route to Newark. I believe they fly to San Juan, I believe it is, from Newark. So this is one that I need for Newark. Uh, that's what it looks like. The registration is November 349 Charlie Mike and 349 CM. The price is $51.95. And of course, as you guys can see, uh, Jim and I are just being idiots. They, 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 just, they, 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 keep, they keep raising prices, which is like... It's kind of getting ridiculous at this point, like fifty one ninety five for seven sixty three, but um, this actually won't be the case because, uh, as we all know, the model stores will, of course, price it a little bit cheaper, thankfully. But uh, yeah, moving on down the line. Okay, this one's gonna sell out really fast. This is the Delta CRJ nine hundred. Now I'm actually one of the people who needs this model. I know a lot of other people need this model. This is one that like I will do anything to get because. Like, um, they fly the seven, uh, CRJ, and I don't know if it's the 700 or 900, I believe it is the 700, I don't know, maybe, I think I need this one, um, if you guys will bear with me, uh, I'm going to, please bear with me, um, basically, Delta, I believe they fly the CRJ900. They do fly the 738s to Newark, uh, the E175s, and they. It doesn't appear that they do, um, but like I think it's something that's like um, seasonal. They fly the CRJ700/900 Newark, so this is what I need. This is what the aircraft looks like. Normal livery Delta. Uh, registration is November 821 Sierra Kilo and 821SK. Uh, the price is forty two ninety five because you know Gemini jets are just absolutely ridiculous with their pricing. But anywho, moving on down the line, it's ridiculous how many models I need from this release, dude, dude. Like, this is the first time Gemini has released a Frontier aircraft in like God knows how long. This is the first time, and I actually I do I do want to get this. Um, I don't believe Gemini uh, Frontier fly to Newark at this point in time, it doesn't appear that they fly to Newark, but I want to get it, because, uh, oh, they do, I'm looking on Flight Radar 24 on my phone right now, they do, but they fly the A320 Neo, so I might get this, it's an A321, but it's a Frontier aircraft nonetheless, so this is one that I want to get, this appears to be in the, um, Steve the Eagle livery, that's the model looks like, registration November 709 Foxtra Omeo and 709 FAR. Price is forty six ninety five. Moving on down the line, we have a Jet 2 Holidays. Uh, I believe is a British leisure airline. I did spot this uh, when I was uh, visiting Prague, Czech Republic in 2019. I didn't, I didn't um, take a picture of it. So you guys don't have a picture of it, but I actually did spot this. Um, basically, Jet 2 Holiday is their low-cost British airline. This is what the aircraft looks like. Pretty simple livery, of course, because it's their budget uh, budget airline. But um, registration is Golf Lima Sierra Alpha November. Is it Alpha November? Yeah, Alpha November or GLSAN, and the price is forty eight ninety five. Moving on to the line, we have a Kaleta Charters Two, uh, Boeing seven two seven dash two hundred. Uh, this is what it looks like. This is this would be one of those cool to get models. Um, I don't think Kaleta Charters still exists. Please comment down below. Uh, I don't believe a Kaleta Charters aircraft, Kaleta Charters itself exists. Um, but I do know that this aircraft did exist. Um, yeah, but this is what the aircraft looks like. Registration is November seven two six Charlie Kilo and seven two six CK, and the price is forty six ninety five. But if Jim and I do release a Kaleda Air 744, 747-400 in 1-400 scale, I will, I, I will, I'll be all over that. 
But uh, yeah, moving on online, we have an SAS. This actually isn't an SAS aircraft that I need. Um, it's an SAS Airbus A321neo. This is what it looks like. It's an SAS's new livery, of course, now. I'm a sucker for SAS's new livery. I absolutely love it, uh, especially when it glimmers in the, sun, in the sunshine. Um, it, it's just, the delivery looks awesome. But yeah, this is a SAS AT21neo. It's gonna be nice for those of you who are European collectors, of course. And uh, registrations here, Echo Delta Mike Oscar, SEDMO. Uh, the price is $46.95. Moving on, we have a Southwest 737-700, this is the classic retro livery, aka Desert Gold livery. Now, this is actually ironic because literally, this was what I was doing. I was in infinite flight and I was flying a Southwest 737-700 just as these releases came out, so it's kind of ironic. Uh, but yeah, I don't need this, of course, Southwest don't fly to Newark. Um, actually, do they? I'm going to do a quick s uh, scroll on Flavor 24. I'm going to do a quick scroll on a flight radar 24 i don't believe they do uh but it's in the desert gold livery um th of course this is gonna sell quite fast as any southwest aircraft that like is in service is going to sell out so um yeah but uh, please give me a minute i'm gonna try to okay so we're here i don't believe southwest flies newer uh, we only get Alaska, United, Delta, and that's really it. Yeah, no, we don't get any Southwest aircraft, so I don't really need to worry about getting this one. But yeah, it's in the Desert Grove. Registration is November 714 Charlie Bravo and 714 CB. Uh, the price is uh, $46.95 in the classic This one, this is a maybe for me. Definite maybe. This is the United uh, CRJ200. Um, this is. It's a maybe for me. United, they fly the CRJ200 to like one or two destinations from Newark. So it's not a definite yes, but I do need a lot more regional aircraft from Newark, uh, including the Embraer J175, CRJs, and stuff like that. So this is a maybe. Um, normal United Express new livery. Registration is November 246. Papa Sierra uh, and 246 PS and the price is 42.95. Now we moving on. Uh, there's Gemini has a trend. They're, they're like they keep releasing many Max aircraft. They're really sort of trying to explain the Max line. Um, but yeah, here we have a NATO OTAN um, A330-300. Um, this is what it looks like. Registration appears to be. Tango 055, T055, it's just an AT30, like a military-ish livery. Uh, it's a max release, of course. MSRP is $56.95, and um, it also, as you guys can see, it has the Royal Netherlands Air Force emblem, indicating that it is owned by the Royal Netherlands Air Force. Alright, so now that we're done with the 1-400 to aircraft, now let's move to 1-200 to aircraft. Now, compared to the last release, this one is a lot, kind of tiny. Um... The probably the only one to four hundred models that I am going to need uh, is the Amerijet, maybe the Delta CRJ, the Frontier. That's a definite maybe, and the United I might get. So yeah, definitely the Amerijet I need to get, and the Frontier I need to get, but the Delta and United they're maybes for me. Uh, but yeah, moving on down to the one to two hundred aircraft, we have this Airbridge Cargo seven four seven four hundred F. This is actually a one to two hundred aircraft. Um, it's interactive too. This is actually pretty cool. Jim and I are actually, from what I'm seeing, they're starting to expand their interactive line to the 1 to 200 models. Um, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. It's just a normal Airbridge cargo livery. And it's just an interactive aircraft. Basically, uh, the registration is Victor Papa Bravo India Mike. So it's obviously a Russian registered aircraft. Uh, and the price is $202. My god. Honestly, it's getting quite ridiculous how Gemini is pricing their models. Like, I know model sales will probably charge you like $170, $180, but still, it's getting quite ludicrously expensive. $202 if you buy off of Gemini. The phone that I'm currently using, an iPhone SE, 2020 iPhone SE, my f that was that's literally half the price of my phone. That that that's ludicrous. Uh, but yeah, that was the Airbridge Cargo 747 to uh, 400F. MSRP is 202.95.
moving on down the line, we have a 1-200 Air Transat Airbus A321LR. This is obviously going to sell out with those of you who are Canadian collectors, obviously. Um, this is what it looks like. Normal Air Transat livery. Looks pretty nice. Uh, registration is Charlie Golf Oscar India Hotel CGOIH. Uh, MSRP is $94.95. Moving on online, line, we have an Airbus A330-700. This is the Airbus Beluga. Um... This is the Airbus Beluga that's painted in the, um, what you call it, it has like the Beluga eye, which is supposed to be like the Beluga mouth and the eye. I, li I like that Airbus does that, you know, it sort of has that sort of, um, playful tang to it. But yeah, that was the Airbus Beluga, uh, 8030, that was one of 200, the registration is Foxtrot Whiskey Bravo X-Ray Lima FWBXL, uh, and the price is $163.95. Moving on down the line, we have a... Delta 737-900ER. This is what it looks like. It is in Delta's normal livery. Uh, registration is numbered 891 Delta November and 891 DM. This is what it looks like. It looks nice. Um, not really much to say about it. I mean, other than that, uh, other than that, other than the fact that it's a Delta livery. But yeah, that was it. Um, Restriction November 891 Delta November and 891 DM. MSRP is 94.95. And of course, the reason why I'm not at saying if I need these models or not, one or two hundred models or max, is because I don't really collect Gemini Max, uh, and I don't really collect uh, one or two hundred models. Um, I want to start doing it, but first I want to have a strong one four hundred fleet and then move on to collecting one or two hundreds. If you know what I mean. But, uh, yeah, moving on down the line, we have a Eastern Airlines 727-100. This is, uh, the one that says Whisperjet on the, uh, top tri-engine. On the top, on the top engine of the tri, tri-engine? I don't know. But, uh, yeah, this is what it looks like. Normal Eastern Airlines livery, not really much to say about it. Other than that, this is gonna be nice for those of you who are retro collectors. Uh, registration is number 8164-GOLF, or, no, N8164-G. The price is $96.95. Moving on down the line. Okay, Gemini once again raises their prices. $72. Bucks. You, you, got, you have to fork over $72 bucks to Gemini to get a Qantas Link, which, which is ridiculous. Uh, this is a Qantas Link Dash 8 Q200. Um, I don't believe Qantas, Qantas still flies these. I believe that they're retired by now, um, but I'm not 100 full. I'm not... Tenfold sure, hundred percent sure, but uh, yeah. Anyway, this Qantas Link is in registration is Victor Hotel Tango Quebec X-ray VHTQX with the flag, and uh, the price is seventy two ninety five. Okay, moving on down the line, we have uh, the same United CRJ two hundred, the same registration November two four six PS uh, Papa Sierra and two four six PS. It's in the same livery, same everything, except in one or two hundred, so it's just scaled up. Uh, uh, actually scaled down from the actual aircraft by a factor of 200. So yeah, that was the one to 200 one, and the price is 77.95. Thank you, Gemini, for raising these prices. Not really, that this is ridiculous. Uh, but yeah, moving on to the last aircraft for this release. This is a um, US Air Force KC-146A. Um, I actually don't believe Gemini released these before, this one before. Um, it's basically US Air Force 767-200, except with like the tanker capabilities. Um, obviously, this is going to be nice for those of you who collect one or two hundred military models. Um, and of course, the registration is India, India, a one eight dash four six zero four nine, and the price is one hundred and twenty nine, uh, one hundred and twenty ninety five. And it's in the Altus Air Force Base. And of course, the Airbus A330 Beluga has an open nose in what the 200, of course, so that must be pretty cool. But yeah, really, the only aircraft that I definitely want to get from this release is the Emirates 767-300. Um, the United CRJ-200, I don't think, I don't believe I need that one. Um, but I'll, I'll see. Um, so for me, probably a definite for me is the Amerijet 767-300, and then maybe for me is the Delta CRJ-900 Frontier AT-21, and United CRJ-200. The rest for me, I just, I just don't really care if they sell out or not. But yeah, that being said, that does conclude this release video. If you guys like the video, please like, subscribe, turn on the notification bell, send us my videos, and, uh, comment down below, what are you guys getting from this release? But yeah, once again, Thank you for watching today's video, and I'll see you in the next one. As always, goodbye. 